Sherry Reggiani, who runs Holistic General Dentistry in Waterford Township along with her husband, among those who have not been looking forward to the rollout of the Affordable Care Act. With six full-time employees and six part-timers, she and her staff will all be impacted. You can't give somebody unlimited benefits and expect that it's not going to cost money. Somewhere down the rough line, we pay. And when we pay as employers, we pass that on in the cost of our services. Which amount to about $30,000 annually, mm -hmm. just in fees alone. Carol Chase is vice president of Chase Plastics in Clarkston, which she and her husband Kevin started in 1992. There's a lot of uncertainty out there, and when there's uncertainty out there, business owners are not going to invest and they're not going to expand because they don't know what they're going to be working with next year, six months from now. And this is just the beginning of the rollout of Obamacare. I have no idea, as many of our legislators don't, what else is in, in the bill. Many medium and larger sized businesses with 50 employees or more have been asking lots of questions and not getting many answers. There's been concern that the market isn't quite ready for the ACA, that the technology isn't there, nor is the system. Which is why the Obama administration surprised many in July when it announced it would delay the business mandate portion of the ACA for a year, which means it won't take effect till January 1, 2015. There are many who would like to see the entire legislation put on ice permanently. If it's such a good program, why are they exempting themselves? If it's such a good program, why did you have to pass it without reading it? If it's such a good program, why don't you have this all ironed out now? 